Hey there, everyone. Round the wheel here, and welcome back to Dove Limbs. And I don't have much to talk about at the front of these videos now, except for how great these levels are getting as we approach the end. So, right to it then. Dove Limbs Mazo 20, the hatch. I think it's level 20 we're on today. Level 20, the hatch. Oh boy. That's a big arrow wall that I don't like the looks of. This is quite a bubbly little lovely jubbly here. 100% is becoming the theme here. We're not messing around anymore than, than three minutes. You know, these levels that don't have a lot of time on the clock, I find them easier to solve for some reason. I don't know why that is. But maybe the release rate of 30 means something for the speed at which we have to work here. Let's see what we've got. I have a feeling there's not going to be a lot of bashing going on for some reason. But as always, you never know until you look. Oh my, oh my word. Yes, please, and thank you? What's going on here, even? Um. Oh gosh. Um. Uh, do we have to go down here, somewhere, thereabouts? Let's, let's get a good look at the lay of the level here. And of course, yeah, not even bothering with. Oh, and there's no mining to be done whatsoever. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun times all around, I bet. Let's, uh, okay, let's get something going here first, though. I've got a good, uh, sort of feeling about this. Um, let's just hit it. I don't think this is right, but I want to try to find a way to get everybody into position here. Oh, yeah, this isn't going to work, see, because I got, I got this going on. I got hurt feelings. Okay. Uh, hmm. Gonna have to get a lot of people moving in the simultaneousness and stuff. Oh yeah, this isn't even. I'm just kind of working it out in my brain here, in my brain pan here right now. Okay, yeah, you're gonna be my floater guy thingy, and you are just gonna probably. Okay, yeah. Okay, left guy, do some digging. Probably just to keep everybody safe. I don't know what I'm even really doing here, but. Rest assured, okay, rest rest assured that I'm probably an idiot. Here we go, okay. Why is, why is this going the way it's going? Oh, this is just fantastically awful right now. Whoa, hey, what? There's actually bubble acid in there? Okay, I seem to have made my way around it, thankfully, but, uh, okay, yeah, oh boy. You are meeting with a quick and ugly death. Okay, let's reverse engineer this. Let's go backwards. We're going to need at least one builder. Though, hmm, I bet we end up digging through this somehow. That would seem a likely solution. What I really want to figure out is how to get everybody locked in right here. That's my big concern. Um, this is a falling distance right here. And that's just... That's just gnarly. Oh, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and let you die. And, uh, why don't we let everybody else die, too? Because I'm sure this is going... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is not even... That's going to be really painful right there as soon as they come spilling out. Oh, hey! They're fine, actually. That's a bit unusual. How am I going to do this without miners, though? I need to look at this. I need to look at this some. This is... This is crazy town. They are definitely not going to walk up through that, I don't think. Oh, yeah, no chance in hell. Okay, I think I need to get a guy going ahead right here. I think I can send the first guy out. So let's see. Let's let's uh, let's have a guy dig. I think nobody will walk past that. Okay, yeah, that's good. So now you need to be an athlete. Because this, this big straight wall right here is giving me pause. And I think we're going to end up doing like an Ask the Oracle sort of thing right here. Because the way I'm seeing it... You get a builder going here, you bump up against it, you come back and you bash through. And then once everybody's at the bottom, they'll all be able to, you know, have a good time and such. Actually... Hold on. Okay, yeah, we're just going to let him do his thing first. We need to get everybody out of the hatch, first of all, is the thing. And we need to build over to here, because this, ha ha ha, tricky little drop. Tricky little drop that, but now, yeah, this moves way too fast. How, okay, I need a guy over on this side, too, I think, doing something. Yeah, he does not have nearly enough time to work. 
So, hmm, wait, that gives me an idea. Maybe we need to dig from, like, right here. We need to give our guy a ton of time to dig. Okay. All right, so be it then. Yeah, everybody just falls right out the way, and even that guy doesn't build what he's supposed to. Okay, I think we're going to be using this big, long shaft right here for our digging purposes. Why don't y'all just walk off to give me a nice little clean fade out? All right, start on your merry way, Basher. And now... Okay, I don't know about this, because I remember there's a puddle of acid down here that's hidden in the wall, like a big old meanie pants. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just athlete him up right now, why don't we? And then uh, see how low you can get. Oh, 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 yeah, that's way too far over. Where is uh, where's the safe spot there for that? I think I can even get a little lower and cut down his building time, actually. Oh, you poor thing. You poor thing. You are the only lemming left. You know what? Why don't you go ahead and just save yourself? Treat yourself. But I think... Okay, yeah. There's the edge of the bubble pool right there. So if I come a little to the left, maybe it won't be so bad. And then, uh... Oh, wow. You just walk straight up that thing, don't you? Oh, you're just gonna keep on climbing. You know what? If you're gonna be a big old climby pants, I was gonna be a nice guy and try to save you. But you know what? No, 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 no. Just go on. Do your own thing. That's cool, too. In fact, if you just walk up... Yeah, you deserve it, you dumb punk. Jeez. Alright, it's proving really difficult to get guys through here, and the digger moves too fast anyway. So, what I'm gonna try to do... I'm gonna do this and see if I can get any ideas from it. Let's go ahead and just go this way, and then, uh, you start from about right there. And then, of course, we'll send everybody out at the maximum rate. Okay, one guy gets by, but that's cool, because he'll just bump off and turn around. Okay, so that makes my floater there, and then I think he can build to about right here, and that keeps everybody safe, but then I don't know what to do with this guy, because there's not very much of a way to get him to get him safe. I only have one basher and no diggers left and I have to use my I have to use my basher here through this wall, I think. That's the prevailing theory so far in order to uh yeah, cuz he will definitely splat. So I feel like I need my floater over here. But I feel like this might also be some kind of fruitful avenue of research right here if I go ahead and uh, build over to this. Yeah, this definitely gets a space that everybody can be in right here, but I just don't know how... I just don't know how lucrative that... Yeah, everybody gets safe in time, that's for sure. So what to do with Mr. Guy over here now? That is the question. Therein lies the rub. And other semi-Shakespearean queries. Huh, because I can't very well bash through here. I bash through here, two builders to get up there, but then how do they get to the exit? I don't know, Margo. Okay, he's gonna bash. I think I just hit upon my solution by mistake. I'm going, while I was trying other things, I think I stumbled onto something really interesting. I'm gonna start digging from right... No, that's too far. I'm gonna let my first guy go ahead and, uh, bash and all that cute stuff. And then, uh, I can actually send... I think my digger right here, because if you dig in the right spot, the lemmings will all deposit themselves out to the left, and then one guy will be able to walk to the right. That allows you to save your floater and your climber for this guy. So let's see, let's see if I can get him low enough. Actually it doesn't really matter, I can do whatever I want with him basically, I can have him build whatever I want. This may have been too soon, but you'll see the general gist of it, I do believe. Like, they'll start walking out here in a second. Whoa, yeah. See, a few of them splatted. That was too high. But see, all of them are going to the left now. And that gives him time to go to the right and build a bridge while they walk off. Okay, so, little sloppy execution, but you pretty much get it. Okay, hopefully this time with a little less splattage. That would be nice. So let's see if they pour out at the rate that I want them to. Is that too high? No, that's perfect. Okay, so now I just have to keep up with my builders. 
and see who gets to the gate first. Okay, so now, just gotta make him turn around. Oh boy, uh-oh. They're coming on strong, but I think they'll make it. I think, I think he'll finish his job in time. Yes, absolutely. And now all he has to do is bash out. Okay, that one was, that one was clever. That is some, that is some real knowledge of terrain. Actually, I feel like I might be bashing too low right here. He might need to take a step up on one of the bubbles. Okay, no. But now I think I built too high, actually. So, yep, I built too high. Not quite perfect just yet, but this is really clever. That shows some, like, masterful knowledge of terrain right there. Wow. Okay, yeah. Only one more take to get this, definitely. Okay, a little bit lower this time. Whoa, maybe not that low. That was... Wow, that's insane -o nuts But they'll still be able to walk up into that, I'm pretty sure. As long as he connects... As long as he connects with the wall. Okay, yeah, they should be able to make that. Okay, yeah, and then, boom, do it up. That should do it. They should make it in just fine. I don't think that's too high. No, that's definitely not too high a step to walk up. As long as you connect the bridge right here... You're pretty much hunky-dory, and Walker Athlete, you climb up the wall, you save the day, little man. You too, Digger. Good job, Digger. And everybody walks the exit just fine. Wow! That one was really cool. I liked that one. It didn't take... It took a long time... Not a long time to solve. It took a... It took more of a fair amount of sitting there than most of, like, the last, I'd say, eight or nine Mazo levels have. Because we've hit a fairly easy run of Mazo levels, and that one kind of woke me back up and was like, pay attention, pay attention, boy! You know, made me actually kind of think again instead of just figuring out the central gimmick, which was very cool, and I like that one a lot. 100% rescued? What do you want to bet we got to rescue 100% in the next one, too? No, as much as I would like to uh, relive past successes, we need to continue. Oh, only 70% this time, and not many of them either. Holy moly. What's going on where I get four minutes and be the one, be the Neo, Beth E. Neo. If your name is Beth, you may just very well be the chosen one. That was belabored. So how do I kill three lemmings? How do I do this up? This looks like another version. This looks like that one level from Havoc. It's like the second level from Havoc. Except there's a lot more going on here, and it's really messy looking. How am I gonna kill three lemmings? How am I gonna feel? How am I gonna feel? Yeah, this is basically some kind of weird reworking. Oh yeah, this is definitely a weird reworking of Havoc 2 for sure. Definitely. Okay. Well. <laughs> well. Okay. No bashing. So there's one dead right off the bat, and. If I can be the one... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, this is basically like Havoc 2. This is this is a redone Oh No More Lemmings level. Kind of like how we had Don't Choose in the Devilish rating, taking a level from the original Lemmings and doing something interesting with it. Now we have a level doing something interesting with this. Oh, hmm. Hmm, indeed. This is... Very interesting. Okay, so what are we, what are we gonna do here? Okay, I'm gonna start off because what we need to do first of all, obviously, is uh, get a guy go. Oh yeah, he didn't climb. Hudder. I feel like that would make it easier if he did though. Let's go five, four, three, two, and hopefully he'll climb up the wall a little. Okay, well that's okay. I already screwed it up, but that's basically as close as I want him to be. So if we can get a guy to like nestle up against that wall there. This is a good this is a good little timing spot right here. Four, three, two, one, and he'll climb up it a little. There we go. Okay, that's one guy through. So that's a nice little corner landmark type remembrance spot. What do I do now? Pretty sure digging is going to be reserved for this teeny tiny space right here. Though, I can't say for sure. How are we going to get the guys down the way? Probably need to send our floater first off. No bombers either. So if we do use a blocker, it's going to be to a uh, somewhat clever end, I'm sure. Um, let's get him going. 
Okay, yes, he also needs to be... He also needs to be a climber, just not yet. Um, actually, we can probably keep everybody blocked in if he goes higher up enough. Yeah, let's keep everybody going a little higher, actually. That way, somebody can get out. So let's go ahead and uh, climb up the wall. Now you go a little farther from where you were gonna. Let's let you go a little higher up. No, everybody can still walk up that. Dang it! This is gonna be tricky. But it will... It will allow people to get out. Uh... Okay, yeah, you, number two. Number one, engage. You got an engage, didn't you? Uh, from... Uh, the guy going left, yes. Because he's gonna climb some. One. That's perfect, okay. Now we can send a guy over. And it's essentially like, uh, now it's going to be more like that. Okay. You, uh, you do need to float, though. That is important. Um. Now I don't know, because I think... How am I going to send guys down now? If I'm, a? Uh, okay. We need to do some more conclusive testing. I think that's a splat distance, but I want to look at it, because... Okay, now I've pretty much got this down. So go ahead and uh, climb up the wall. We need to do some conclusive testing to see if that is a splat, for we are scientific method Lemmings players, and we do everything 100%. Okay, up the way now. Now if I can get a guy to uh, not be a floater right here, that'd be fantastic, actually. That would get everything going pretty smooth. I think that's splat height. Sure enough. So, yeah, we're definitely going to have to send one floater down. So, how are we going to contrive this so that everybody else can get down? That is a tricky question. Because once you get over here, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I just got to figure out how to get everybody down here the new way with this newfangled steel architecture that's all crazy and... Maybe it involves... Ah. Uh, Ah, maybe it involves something like this, because then I build up, I build up, and I hit that. How many builders is that leaving? That leaves me quite a few builders. If I can just, okay, I'll have to build a hit, that's one, and then maybe like one, two, three, four, then he goes up, five, six. Yeah, I ought to have enough builders to pull that off. I think I got this. Okay, let's see if I can use a decent amount of builders here. Actually, this is going to be way harder than I figured on because I'm going to have to get them down to here before I can even think about getting them down to here. Uh, okay, yes. Okay, yeah, go ahead and do that. And then, um... How am I going to... 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 This is a little harder than I was banking on at first, but I definitely need to save them by doing something, something like this. And then uh, I can send another guy. Okay, yes, I can now send another guy over. Wait, that's one. Wait, how many lemmings am I killing in this process? One, and then... Uh... No, I could have done that better, I think. Hold on. Ah, yeah, yeah, I could have done that way better. I think I could have started from farther back and finished the bridge and then drop in so I don't have to use a blocker. I could have done that better. Well, let's see. But let's see how many I'm killing in this process. One, two, and then... Uh... Three, four? Oh, my God. Oh, we're going to have to build out of here then, obviously. So, one... Two, and then three. Okay, yeah, that's the three that I can kill. There's going to have to be a guy poised right here, right here, and then this guy killed right here. Okay, if my calculations are right, I can get away with this anyway. I can just send a guy up now. Need to send up another climber. Although I think that might have to be the last one, thank goodness. So, yeah, he can block from here, and that should mitigate the splat height enough. Yes! Okay, so, goody-goody. Now, yeah, now he can do everything to the end, and everybody else is 
just fine. Don't need to do any kind of bombing and bombing and stuff like that. Oh, I only had one bomber anyway, so yeah, building out of the pit was a foregone conclusion. There we go. Alright, so, yes, now we just... What? Boo on you, sir. Boo. Boous on youus, as they say in Latin. Alright, he is digging now. And I happen to be able to use my athlete, which I don't know if that's going to bite me in the ass or what, but I guess we'll just see. Okay, now let's get you... I like this little space right here. I don't know why. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, start building up. Build up so you hit your dang head, boy. Alright. You ever use that head for anything other than a coat rack, my dad used to tell me? We'll just see. Why don't we? All right, so yes, they should all be able to uh, curve out, and I think I may have started too soon from right here. Actually, it doesn't matter because I have my climber doing it, so does not matter. Ning, 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 ning. A winner is me. Okay, so now, now I'm, uh, 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 I'm worried about doing this wrong. Okay, yeah, I think I should have built to here and then used myself to turn around because now I think I've spent too many builders because it's going to take at least two to hit my head and I don't have three... I may be able to make it here in three builders, but then I won't be able to get them out now. Yeah, see, I can hit my head and I can pretty much build to the exit. Okay, yeah, I need to hit this and turn around. I see. So let's see if I can... uh. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Let's just uh, let's just test out this scenario here using handy dandy fast forward technology, brought to you by Intel. Let's see, and uh, he will uh, yeah he'll pretty much hit up on that yeah okay and then he turns around okay working this out a little bit at a time but it's coming together. Okay now operating in a more efficient fashion. Let's go ahead and uh, I can actually I can actually plug this up from like right here and that'll work for that. Uh, did I give myself enough room? Starting to think I did not and I'm gonna have to hit my head again. I don't think I gave myself enough room there but yeah I can build from right there I can use myself to hit and then one two and then uh, oh wow yeah I can I think I'll actually have one left over yep I did a stupid thing there. Now with 100% less idiot, just add water. That's just barely less idiot, but it works for me. And now, let's turn me around the fast way. Let's see, one, two, yeah, I should be able to get out of this with uh, one builder left over, actually. Come to think of it, come to find out. Okay, so build up to here. Let's just speed up all this silly building nonsense. Because that's what it is. Nonsense. You hear me? Nonsense. We need to get you building out of here like yesterday. Go ahead and do it to it, Mr. Man. And that should do it for us today. That is our blocker up here. That's one dead, two dead, three dead. Yes, 70%. Perfect. And they will walk up there. Okay, yeah. Oh, good, good. There's a little contingency in case my climber was the one to do it. Oh, man. That would have been so upsetting. Oh, goodness gracious. Yes, but they're all walking to the exit in fine form, and I even had one climber left over. God knows what that was for. But that should do it, and thank God for the left-holding cursor, because I should be able to build out of here, and luck should not even be a consideration. There we go. Excellent. You'll build your way out of there. Our 70%, our requisite 70% will make it out, and that'll do it. All right, man, these are getting in the can really easily, and I we're in the final 10 levels of Mazo here, so I'm really excited about some of the upcoming possibilities. Full disclosure, some of which I know about, because they were the levels that inspired me to do this in the first place. So if you're wanting to see some awesome levels, there are definitely some coming up, because there are a couple that I found, you know, just in my internet travels, before I even had a thought in my mind of doing this that were the inspiration for me to even tackle this project in the first place. So there's a little bit of non-blind stuff coming up in the days to come, but I assure you it's all to a positive end. Oh man, 
I just I've just been so happy doing this game. This is really this has really been like a watershed moment for me. This series, I have really enjoyed doing it, and it's obvious you guys have really enjoyed watching it. But it ain't over yet. It ain't over till it's over, and it's not over yet. I'll see you guys next times.